and welcome to the series of repairing this jacked up iPod video 30 gigabyte. At first we will open up the iPod with this tool that came with the replacement battery. Then I will start by in this part I will start by replacing the headphone jack and then the battery pack. Probably I'll do that in one. And then we will replace the black front with a white front. So let's get started. These two tools are meant to be pushed into the side of your iPod. To see need to apply a little bit more force than I thought and this will ruin the tool basically now you can slide it around some other edges work your way around the bottom and should be fine. Now set this aside and gently open up the iPod. Now you can see oh the battery connector is already disconnected. That might be the reason why this battery didn't work. Well now you can flip the hard drive over and take flathead screwdriver or your plastic tool and now take that little switch and flip it over to remove the back. Your battery pack should be attached to this brown piece here that you have to flip up to disconnect your battery. Now, as I said, we will start by replacing headphone jack and battery. Just take out the battery. I believe this is the original one. 3.7 volts. And it does not say how big it is. The replacement battery is equally sized and has basically the same connectors. This one tells you how much uh, milliampere it does have. It's 580, which does not sound like much, but we'll see how, how this performs. It does have a sticky side on the back, and let's set that aside for now. No, no this is the old battery, new battery. To disconnect the headphone jack, which is connected to the hold switch, there are one, two, three, four screws and a little bit of sticky stuff here and here. Let's start by removing the screws. As you can see, these screws are very small, which is why I have some, a pair of tweezers set aside to be able to put them back into these holes. Three. Try this out. Push in. Pull the 
this off. Pull that off. And take it off. Okay, now I've taken all parts apart. We have the headphone jack plus the hold switch. And now we have to remove this white part of the headphone jack. It's easy to peel off. Just take your tweezers, grab it and gently take that part off. For some odd reason this is the only part the new headphone jack does not come with. And take this bumper off. So now we have removed all parts of the headphone jack that we will need to use again. So let's put that to the side. Now as I said replacing the screws is quite tricky since they are this small I used a pair of tweezers to screw it in. Oh, and by the way, there is a difference between the black and the gray screw. The black screw is a little bit shorter than the gray screw. And as you can see, in the hold switch, the black screw was mounted to the left. And the gray screw mounts to the top. Because here it has to hold this metal piece through some plastic into the actual back of your iPod. So don't confuse these two. The gray screw in my case is longer and goes into the top. The black screw to the left. Okay, now all four screws are back in place. Now I could continue by gluing the Back battery pack in. I will not glue it in right away. I'll glue it in in the end. So, just to finish up this video, we will reconnect the battery, put the connector in, and take some kind of tool. I prefer my little flathead screwdriver and push down on the connector. Connect the headphone jack. And flip that back over. Remove the ghetto fix piece of paper. And now you're good to go put it back on and snap the back 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 on this is how you replace battery and headphone jack